Hello everyone, my name is Yasum, and welcome back to Regrowth. This episode 106, I think? Last time was the... Yeah, where I basically got put through the big man bling blender. So that was interesting. I think I got at least one spider up here. Maybe more. Where are you at? I know you're here. Oh, look. Free string. Give me. Come on. So, what you can see here, holes. Apparently these spiders have decided they are not going to be threatened by the fact that I just stabbed one of them to death. Whatever works for them. Okay, multiple holes. Trying to figure out what would pass for the... I, I don't even know if think best is the right word. You know, functional. Oh, that's where they are. They're all in the holes. Great. Um, way to flush critters out from our, our little pigmen thingy over there. I thought I saw a hit point bar over there. Weird. This is kind of what we've got. Well, this is what we've got right now. Water source in the corner. Those three blocks right now have uh, punji sticks on them. Seems to work pretty good. Uh, a little hard to control. So I've been trying to think of other things we could do with it. This one kind of works. Puts them down into a hole where we could, you know, maybe pull them back somewhere. The trick is to keep them within a certain block radius of that spawner so it stays active. I want to say it's like 16 blocks, I think. So it's not that bad. This was the other option, but the hole is too small, so they'll never all fit through there. But right now I'm kind of leaning towards this one because it doesn't really require much modification. The other trick would be to, if we can fit ourselves in here without dying, which I don't think is physically possible for me. But yeah, let's see here. Yeah, because see, we're a decent amount below that spawner. I don't think it needs to be that far no. down. And every time, even though I mute it, it still tells me that it's disconnected. I don't need to know that, TeamSpeak. In theory, TeamSpeak should not be a problem now because I killed it. So we'll see if that's good. Every time during the, or every day, about this time, it flakes out for some reason. No idea. But let's see. Kind of need to count where that is. It's right at ground level. So I thought the escape radius was like if you could drop them three blocks below it. You know, they're, so they'd be, need to be fully three blocks below it. So we'd probably want to go down, well, two blocks maybe? Three? I don't know. Maybe six? Which I think we already are. That way bouncing on the water doesn't mess with anything. Oh, I'd love if we could catch one of those and get some eggs. Okay, distraction. Let's go check out the chicken. One thing we also need to look at is, um, oh man, what chapter was it in? Seven, four number I don't know um the better chests something like that uh, hmm how little pig man um that's a problem hmm let's see can we make him not alive um, the other chests you can make, it's a different type, it's more of a stylized chest, but you can upgrade them. And in the past, the main reason I, I mean, I used them, but for last season they were mainly for very specific uses, because once I put them down, I couldn't move them. You basically had to empty them out and then move them, and it's a royal pain. So didn't really do that often. Okay, he moved. We'll deal, we'll deal with him later. But apparently they fixed that glitch, so I'm, I want to take a look at it. We got uh, we got at least one or two comments saying these chests are better now. So what was it? We got three. Three. Oh, crossbreeding. Uh, finished cotton. We got strawberries and grapes. I think we were doing those towards the end last time. So we can ignore those. Toss those in here. Got our cotton down here. Um, we're doing good on the uh, skeleton soul seeds. They're all up to tens now. I just put a little 4x4 four four here to let them propagate out so we can get a little uh, functional area going. But let's put let's put our bits away and let's take a look at those quests. Because I those chests I think will be useful because they can store so much. Plus, they don't look quite as bad as bread. Uh, was it? Oh, which one was it? No. Yeah, right here. Better chests. Improved chest. Now every time. I'm gonna take a while to get used to that. Okay. So, oh look, we can do cotton now. That's awesome. Um, cobblestone planks and cotton. So for cotton, wait, I think 
it's just four? Nope. Ah, nine. Okay. A little different. I have been trying to get mushrooms. So far it has not work, been working. I'm running out of uh, wood ash. So I started burning saplings. We got a few of them now, so I wasn't all that concerned with losing too many of them. But I'd still rather not torture them unless I had to. Especially when we're starting to run low on wood. I did, you can see here, I got a whole bunch of new saplings. It's weird, we got a Japanese maple sapling, which one by one, normal tree, I guess. I don't remember what that one looks like. But you also got a Japanese maple shrub. So you got an actual tree and you got a shrub. I need to plant those to see because I'm kind of curious what the shrub looks like. I mean, I imagine it looks like a shrub, but still, I'm about to turn those into, uh, into sticks. That would have been bad. Let's put these away. Cobblestone from the barrel that will be there forever. Improved. Ooh, autumn wood planks in a stone frame. Oh, neat. So you can customize them based on the planks, the stone, and if we dyed that cotton. Um, yeah, we got plenty of that. Let's just take a look. Not right. Why Why am I thinking? Oh, man, it's all the way around the edge. I don't want to do that. I don't care enough for that. Let's just do one. And I don't want to use up that much of the wool. That's bread again. All right, improved chest mark one. We get four more. That's cool. And then we get playing swapsies. Basic upgrade. So some paper and some cobble. Yeah, that is pretty basic. I don't know. I, I kind of like the the ones we made with this uh, autumn log better. Kind of got a neat little reddish look to it. We needed paper. Let's do no. Paper. And still got a bunch of now. We'll get some more. It's, it's odd when you run out of crafting tables. It feels kind of strange. Let's see. Here, here, and here. Okay. Alright, crafting task. It wants a chest converter. Um, we're all you to swap out a basic chest with an improved chest. Okay. Okay, so we need one of those, plus luckily they just gave us a whole bunch of them. Very nice of them. Oh, wait, what's that? Cypress wood, stone frame, lime. Cypress wood. Alternate. I wonder if that makes it so you can put them next to each other, maybe? So that it's be like putting a trap chest down. So in theory, we should be able to shift right click. <laughs> cool. Alright. That gives us four more plus the chest converters. Alright. Oh, pick one. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't really matter. I mean, they both do the same thing, don't they? Um, fresh coat of paint. Oh. Red, blue, yeah. Oh, iron. Nope, definitely can't make that. Oh, it gave me the chest. I didn't even realize that. I thought it was going to take it away. That's kind of cool. There we go. Put that back. And good enough. And let's just put these here for now. We can't do the upgrades. That's kind of a bummer. The painter would be awesome, but it requires iron. Requires iron. Can't make that yet. Made drawers already. I don't know if I'm ready to dive into bags yet. So I think that'll be good for those. That's cool. We'll let those grow over there. It's nighttime. Which I suppose doesn't really matter for what we're going to be doing, but let's take a peek here and see. Um, we'll grab. We've got some more marble we can work with. What the heck was that? I don't think anything can get, get down there. This should be an enclosed area here. And I mean, I didn't hurt that pigman, so he shouldn't be mad at me if he's down here. Hopefully he suffocated. I'm hoping that's what that sound was. Either that or I'm going crazy from being out here by myself for too long. Who knows? Let's... Really? You're going to be that way? And... 
turn our F7 on, make sure I'm not making any dangerous areas. Okay, so what we need to do... I kind of liked that one design, but now I can't remember exactly how I did it. Let me go back up and take a peek at it, see how best to get this going, and then I'll be back. I think I'm going to regret this. But we need... We need to get in there, put blocks along there, and then drop that entire floor down too, which sounds like a bit of a pain. I'm wondering if it would affect the efficiency too much if we just raised that floor up too. That might be easier. Take a peek here. Give me. Oh, seriously. Did I create an infinite source there? All right. Okay, let's take a peek and see. Okay, that's right here. Yeah, good enough. Yeah. And let's just put that right there to make sure the piggies don't escape. Okay, so what we should be able to do, this will make it so the water doesn't flow off the edge. Oh yeah, forgot about that area. There. You're not mad at me, are you? I really don't want to die. Right? We're okay? Okay, not dead. Alright. Whew. That was a tad more stressful than it should have been. What was it, like four deaths to those things last time? It was horrifying. I died that many times in ages. Let's see, so we need to raise that entire thing up a block. Which shouldn't... Yeah, that should be okay. Uh, oops. Later, piggy. And apparently my neighbor across the street is back with his very loud motorcycle. Which is odd because I can hear it, yet I'm on the other side of the house from him. Really loud motorcycle. Yo, pig. Hey, no, I need that. Give me that. Yeah, I hope it hurts. Let's see. Get out of the way. Oh, this is going to be such a pain when I turn it back on. When I get the water back in place, they're going to, like, flow all over. Hmm. Not intended. So. Oh, no, that wasn't either. Um. Hmm. Coordination appears to be having issues today. All right. Um, torch. Okay, so the water will flow to here. It will stop. And then this area needs to be filled back in. So that we can seal this area off. And all of a sudden it dawned on me, I have once again forgot how I wanted to do this here. So I'm going to go look again and I'll be back. Okay, I hit one. That did not work. Okay. Oh, that's going to complicate things significantly. Now they're going to be all angry at me and I'm dead in the corner. Why in the world someone thought it was a good idea to have pigmen take offense to you hitting them when they step in front of you? Yeah. Yeah, don't like any of you. Um, is there a way we can, oh, I wish there was a way we could shut that thing off. Um, yeah, there's the gravestone. Okay, hmm, we got slabs. This is going to require a bit of thought. Let's see, let's see if I sealed this area correctly. If I did, we can work on Operation Dig Under the Piggies. Because, let's see, that... That's the floor right there. So in theory, I think this is where the spawner is. Yeah, lined up right here. So if we, oh, wow, well, that's slow. Um, torch. Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. Otherwise, this is going to be bad. Oh, cool. Okay, so we should be able to dig under here. 
This will actually work out because we need to do this anyways. The problem is right now the piggies are building up above us, which is not good. And... Hmm, I am out of torches because I did not... Oh! How, 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 how? How? How did you get in there? Oh. Methods to kill you needed. Let's just... Yeah, there we go. I'm wearing a dress upside down, kind of. Well, I'm wearing a doily on my head. Um, bow, arrows, and bread. Okay, and we need some torches. And um, you. Uh, no. Oh man, what was I looking for? I was looking for uh, skeleton essence, and said I saw bones and. For some reason, thought that's what I was looking for. There we go, because we need more arrows. We're probably going to need another bow, but that's not a big deal. Alright, arrows. Plenty of arrows now. Alright, bones go back in there. Um, you go here. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the gravel. Okay. Oh, man, they must have bumped him up the ladder. Let's see if we can kill him. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I know all of your buddies want to kill me anyways. Yeah, now you're dead. Okay. In theory, somewhere. There it is. Okay. That's the middle. So let's see. The middle. Oh, how can I not remember this? Having those pigs up there is really distracting. Now you get to see my standard thought process here. Um, what did I do? What did I remember? What did I forget? Okay. So it would be two blocks, or the row of blocks directly towards us from the, uh, the black marker would go out. Those two right there get cut out. So we'll do, let's just say one set in front of it maybe? Oh, they're, they're building up in there. We're going to have to do something with them soon. So if we come in here, take these out. Because this set right here, this gets taken out as well as these. Okay, I think I'm. I think I'm remembering here. We'll we'll find out when we eventually get to the point of turning this thing on. So basically, what we got here is we got our hole. Um, okay, I'm awake now. I have no idea what that is or was, but hmm. Um, let's see. These get taken out. That opens us a hole. Then this one, this one, and this one get taken out, which should work, leaving us an overhang to hold the water. They would fall down in here, and then get slid over this way. Okay, let me do some digging real quick, ish, and then I'll be back and we'll see if I can do this without crashing my game. I really hope this actually breaks when I get to the end of this. If not, it's going to cause a little bit of a problem for the plan. We'll see. Getting there. Almost. Oh, it broke. Perfect. Okay, because what we need to do here, I think, is drop this thing down. I was just looking at this, and if the pigment are... Oh, what is... Oh, stop that. What is this? Oh, did we actually find a cave? Hmm, that complicates things. All right, well, we don't have time to be exploring right now because we got a piggy apocalypse above me building up slowly. The longer I'm down here, the more pigmen build up, but I need to be down here to dig the hole that'll eventually get rid of the pigmen. It's that kind of that catch-22 type thing. So we need, let's just actually replace this. If we replace this with cobblestone, then hopefully in the future, if I come across it, I can look at that and go, that's cobblestone. Maybe I shouldn't mess with that. So the idea here is by recessing these in, when we go, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the water should stop right here. At least that's the thought. 
so if we put it in there yeah okay and then we would put the spikes right there okay so that's the general idea more digging and then I'll be back so it's starting to get dark out you can see we got our blue slime stuck over there the problem right now aside from the piggy apocalypse is we need to fill that area right there in we we'll lose a torch not a big deal water source blocks will need to go there and in the same corner on the other side as well as in holes over they go in one and over and then in one and over right there to push them towards as well as those blocks right there getting cut out not looking forward to that one so I may end up being naked with a pickaxe for that but so that's what I'm doing right now I'm, my hope is that I can use gravel to fill those spots in but I have to go flip it over to uh, today first so I gotta go sleep and then I'll drop uh, gravel on those guys' heads and see if maybe that helps so that's the current plan hopefully it goes as planned we will see and attempting to relieve some of the piggy pressure here ow that's nice at all so hopefully we can get some of them taken care of oh ow ow man that hurts Apparently they can hit me through a half slab. That's just... Oh, every time they come through the floor, it freaks me out. Okay, so can we get down here? Assuming I did this correctly. Yep, there it is. There's our hole. Which we should be able to hopefully step down in without getting killed. That's the plan. Okay. Alright, so there's the punji sticks. So now what we need is a little walkway here. This will hopefully relieve some of the pressure up there because the amount of pigmen packed into that area when I dumped the water down there was insane. I mean, there's probably double what... It, that wasn't very nice. Double what there was there before when we looked. And it just kind of keeps piling up. So if this area, which I'm hoping is still within the escape radius we should be set now all we need is some slabs to walk on and we should be able to start collecting the goodies easily with no fear of getting chewed on which is awesome I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna get my grave back hey hi yep you're all gonna die soon Alright, so that gets us to this point. Now, the trick is filling that gap, or the last, not only the trick, the last piece, is to fill that gap in, get the water on the bottom, and get my gravestone back. Sounds easy, right? Yeah, should be... Because there's the gravestone. If we, Once we get the water on the edges, it'll push the rest of them in there. That Those three blocks right there need to come out. So... I think. Oh, I hope I did this right, otherwise it's going to get really messy. So, more digging to get to places to put water sources. And then, once that's done, I have to fill that area in with gravel over there, and then, then we'll see how it goes. Okay. I think I got it. it. We have one thing left to fix. And that is, my grave marker is causing some serious problems here. I think if I can reach it, I can... What are you... No, you don't get to be there. Pesky little... Get out of there. Okay, so we're going to need to seal these up. So they don't get stuck in there. It was... This wasn't center, was it? No, this one's center. So we need to go over... Two, so that's center to here maybe I think this is right yep okay so let's put we're gonna leave cobblestone here for now so we can see it because it may be important in the future to uh, be able to find your way out quickly uh, stay down there my hope is that when I break this it will just auto correct itself there we go perfect that's what I was hoping for that the water would just correct its path and flow down the hole. Because in theory, now we should be able to come down here. And... Get all of our junk back. Uh, get rid of you. 
Um, let's get you, you, you. Some of you. Eh, maybe you. Don't need you. Um, pants, boots. Okay, I think we're doing good now. So this should be... It should be done. I mean, the only thing left is basically just kind of spruce that area up, but the overall function seems to be finished. But one thing I do want to do, aside from cleaning out all the junk in my inventory, is put some glass down. So let's put away our bow. The horrible pick of doesn't break anything. Put that in there. Buckets. Eh, these stuff things don't really go in there, but another tombstone. Need to find a place to put those. Okay, now, wait, was it in here? Here? Ah, glass. Perfect. And I wanted to put the glow away. The reason for the glass is so I can see and they can't punch me in the face. Because so far that seems to be their favorite pastime when they swim by on the way to their eminent pokey death. Is to slap me in the face. And I, I'm not very fond of that game. So we'll pop these out of here. Yeah, there you go. Be about your business. And we should be able to cut these out. So basically, all of this can get, of course, as soon as I get it back, it's broken. Go figure. We should be able to um, maybe not fill all this in, but wall it off because we don't really need to see it anymore. And the idea would be to uh, put glass around here where. Oh, hello. Oh, you maybe waste a. You pest. Glass is a pain to get right now. Those things have been the only uh, complication, I think we'll call them, so far. So we got glass around there. Oops. Forgot what time it was. We are nearing bedtime. So one down, one to go. Let's see. How are we doing? I'd like to get some more glass around here. I don't really think we need it. See, now, the trick would be is I think we may be out of the radius here, which is going to be a bit of a problem until we can get up to the point where we can get some type of automation. Because I think we're down far enough that we're just a little out, which is kind of a pain. It's not the end of the world. I mean, in theory, if we needed to, like, say, say over here worked, but down a couple blocks, we could run some signs across and move the uh, punji pit right over here. Because I think I can hear him floating down now. So this might be within range, but the other spot isn't. Not being able to see complicates things. So I can't see if the... Uh, if we could... Let's see, that right there is the middle. Yeah, even if we could replace that with glass there, I don't think we'd be able to see. Hmm. This is where having another account with a spectator would be awesome. But uh, don't have one of those. Okay, let's see. Can we break this? Uh, this is going to cause some issues. So fingers on one and four. Okay. And... All right. Wasted a piece of glass, but does that help us any? No, I think we'd need those, but this is still pretty good because it means all I have to do is stand up there for a little bit and then come down and collect the stuff. So I think this is going to be good. What I would like to... Oh my goodness. What I would like to do is empty some of this junk out of my inventory. Holy smokes. Um, what I'm kind of thinking of now is eventually to add some upper catches to it, like up on the surface. So that way, if, you know, during the night a creeper walks by, or give me that back. A creeper walks by, anything like that, it'll get caught, hopefully, in, the, in like a water flow, and just yank down and, you know, stab to its death by the punchy sticks. So let's take a look here. Um, yeah, that's good enough for now. We can get up here, those, those, uh heads that run around are kind of a pain like you can see that skeleton there we got slimes so you know run a couple um water pads out a little bit like maybe go up a bit come seven drop down one seven drop down one stop eight so they kind of fan out a little bit into the distance 
that way as that like that skeleton's wandering around he jumps in the water and just gets kind of schloosed along his way and falls down here and gets taken care of with the rest of them oh yeah there's no way we're gonna go see that thing I, i'm betting this entire thing could probably be raised up a block or two with no issue but that's gonna be a pain I mean, in theory, it might not be that bad because you could just kind of take the water blocks out or water sources out, put a couple layers down, put a couple layers down there, raise the pit up, you know, that type of thing. It's it's having the pigmen fall on your head the entire time that's the problem since that seems to invite them deciding that they need to take offense to your existence and beat you to death, which overall I, I tend to feel is kind of rude. I mean, I didn't even do it on purpose this time. And they, they still beat me to death again. But, eh, what you gonna do? But for now, I think we're gonna call it. We got that going. Those seeds are going. We got our chest made. We can't... I don't think we can make any of the upgrades yet. I think we need metal for that. So, those are useful. But for now, yeah, I think we're gonna call it. We're gonna say thank you for watching. If you liked the episode, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. You'll see more videos. If you happen to know someone who might like watching me... E Oh, there's a hole there. Gotta get killed by pigment a few times? Eh, give them a link. Maybe they'll like the video, maybe they'll subscribe, and then, you know, I get to be happy because channel support, which is awesome. You get to be happy because you shared with someone. And overall, you know, everybody gets to be happy. And I don't know about you, but I kind of like being happy. But, you know, like I was saying before, channel support is always welcome, always appreciated. And so are those comments. Keep them coming, and I'll talk to you next time.